everybody, and welcome to a new edition of Big Meals from a Small Kitchen. It has been a long and dreary winter, and I thought at one point about doing some meals over the holidays, and I only did one, which was kind of a slightly cheap and cheesy pumpkin pie, uh, ice cream pie for Thanksgiving. And then I just kind of lost interest in doing anything for the holidays. As I said, a long and drawn out winter, and just that little short one and a half minute video I did of uh, grilling outside while we were sitting on the three feet of snow, which was, you know, just meant for good humor and fun. Um, I have a new camera, which I forgot to go get the old camera so I could shoot a picture of the new camera, so I'm going to go get it. Okay, I'm back. Now, this is the old camera that I used to shoot with. And, um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shoot the new camera. This is the new camera. My mom got it for me for Christmas. And, um, It takes pretty good pictures, but, uh, well, the pictures aren't great, great. The camera doesn't have a flash, but it does take really good video. Anyway, I wanted to do a series of Chinese takeout dishes, or similar to takeout dishes. Uh, I have to cook on an electric stove, so stir-frying can be a little bit, uh, trying at times, because I've always preferred gas cooking, but where I live here in the mountains of Virginia, we can't get natural gas, we have to get it bottled and it's just too expensive. Now we have a little bit of wind today, but uh, I have improved on my stir frying technique over the winter, and I've perfected a few dishes, and I wanted to try out this first one for you, and it's cashew chicken, it's delicious doesn't quite look exactly like what you would get in a Chinese restaurant, but I guarantee you that if you follow this recipe, it's going to be delicious. So let's get into the kitchen and make us a stir fry. Okay, so here's our ingredients, white pepper, white pepper, right there, honey, soy sauce, and I always use, an off, try to get an authentic soy sauce, this is not, it's a store brand. It's not an authentic one, but it's low in sodium. I always go with low sodium soy sauce, not because of health reasons, but because of flavor. Too much sodium or too much salt, and your soy sauce just doesn't taste good. This is a rice wine that I've been using. And I picked this up at an Asian market in Kingsport, Tennessee called Asia Market. They are fantastic. I also picked up this sesame oil there. So, and this oyster sauce, and here's some cashews right down there, okay. cornstarch for thickening, and uh, here is the sauce I'm going to add to the cashew chicken when it's done, and some saffron rice, and here are our veggies. Got uh, celery, which I, celery is optional. I like to put it in there. I like it very much. Onion, green pepper, and there's some fresh ginger. I love fresh ginger root. Now, a note about the chicken. Here's my chicken soaking in the rice wine and cornstarch marinade I made for it. This marinade is going to smell weird. All right, it's got a weird, off kind of black licorice -y 
smell to it. But that's okay, because the chicken is going to cook up absolutely delicious. So, anyway, let's get to stir fry. Okay, uh, I just showed a couple of images for the Asian market on your screen. They're in Kingsport, Tennessee. They're an amazing place. They have so much wonderful stuff. Um, here goes the chicken. That Asian market, they sell fresh seafood. They have lobsters and shrimp. And the lobster's alive, and the crabs are alive. And they had live eels down there last week. And um, they have fish that's so fresh that the eyes are still clear. So anyway, worth checking out if you're in the region, the Asian market. It's on Fort Henry Road and e at the intersection of Fort Henry Road and Eastman Road in Kingsport, Tennessee. And the staff is real friendly. The only thing I don't like about the store is that um, they have so many items from all the different countries in Asia. They have Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Indonesian, Malaysian, Indian, and um, it's all together. They don't have they don't have it separated by country. But it's amazing the noodle selection and sweet selections, cookies, candies, all kinds of stuff. It's an amazing place. If you have an Asian market in your town, then you should give them a try. And the prices cannot be beat. They sold me a lobster in there one day. It was frozen. And they sold it to me for $7. And that's what I had for Valentine's Day dinner with Karen. Well, she didn't have lobster, but I did. Whole lobster for $7. They're a really neat place. Okay, I got the chicken off to the side. I'm going to fry up this little... Uh, piece of ginger I just threw in there. Let the oil absorb some ginger. It flavors up the oil. I'll have to scrape my wok out after I'm done eating. And Ah! Oh, I just burnt my poor little camera, girl. Uh, but that's what uh, happens when you cook. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I don't you know. Right? I'm sure you will be. I'm sure she'll uh, a little bit of hot grease every once in a while. Just a little dab on her. She'll be okay. Ah! Uh, it's going to her out. My little camera girl indoors. And look at that. Look at those colors. Isn't that just pretty? That's our celery and green pepper. Remember, celery's optional. Um, I just like it because I like the extra flavor. Mom's kind of dancing around with the camera in her hand. I'm sorry, hon. Okay. Just a little bit of a little bit of splatter. Here, move your hand. Oh yeah, you're fine, honey. Just a little. You'll be fine. You'll be just fine. I promise. I will throw some cashews on it. Toss in our sauce. Stir that up real good so that sauce heats up. And as that sauce heats up, the little bit of cornstarch I threw in thickens it so that it coats everything real well. Throw that piece of ginger away. There you 
go. I've got some yellow saffron rice cooking up. And I'm going to put some over it. And then serve it up. Cashew chicken. You have the ingredients. You can make this too. It's real easy. Thanks for tuning in. And come back next time where we will either do lo mein or mugu gai pan. <laughs>